Oh my god, this is always the case here. It is so annoying. Why don't we go stop them? Let's tell everyone to stop shouting. Simple. Oh no, no. See, the speaker is not in his chair and they will not listen. He is responsible to maintain order and decorum in the house. Ah, I didn't know that. So what else can a speaker do? Well, keep watching. As we all know, the speaker is the principal spokesperson of the house and in any parliamentary matters, his decisions are final. The speaker gets his powers from three sources, the constitution of India, the rules of procedure of conduct of business of the Lok Sabha and the parliamentary conventions. The speaker has the power to regulate functions in the house so that everything runs systematically in the parliament and this is one of his prime responsibilities. He also has the power to decide how long to let any member address the house for. The speaker can stop the speech of any member and decree what they have said will not go on record. Also, he can ask any member of the house to withdraw from the sessions for a certain period of time. The speaker enjoys a special position considering the two houses of the parliament where he can preside over a joint meeting between the two in case of disagreements or important discussions. What? The Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha have a disagreement? Oh, as usual, the Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha are fighting again and I'll only have to intervene. Oh, also, wait. Whenever there is a voting in the house, the speaker does not participate. But in certain cases, when the decision is a tie to break the deadlock, the speaker can use his vote. And this is called casting vote. Sir, we need money to collect data and to issue other cards. Money bill required. Money bill? <laughs> okay, approved. A lot of responsibilities, a lot of power, and equally a lot of duties to carry out. You see, the Speaker of our Parliament is no ordinary person. 